Hello everyone and welcome to Cooking with Chef Mike. I hope everybody's doing good today. I am fixing a pizza, one for each of us, from all from items from Dollar Tree. So this is a Dollar Tree pizza. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six items. But I will have some of this left over, I gotta say. So anyway, I'm going to show you all the ingredients and then I'm going to uh, cut up this ham. I'll have to pause it for that because I might cut myself I'm not paying attention. I got some of this Breckenridge, make sure it's got the frame, uh, Breckenridge Farms Italian Blend Shreds. So I got two of those. They don't look like they have a whole lot in them. And... I got this uh, Bar S Deli Sliced Smoked Ham. Well, I might on a. Well, I've got everything laying out like this. I'm going to take a picture of this. I think I got everything in it. Let me make sure. That might be a little better right there. Okay. Well, okay, I think I got it. Okay, yes, I got this deli spot. They didn't have any pepperoni, so we decided to put, use this. Um, they have little thin pizza crusts, but I've used them before, and I think they're a little bit too thin. I mean, we don't like them. They, they're almost paper thin. I mean, they're so thin. But they've got these Ellie's uh, Four Flat Pitas. This is original, pre-oiled. And I'll tell you what, these are really good, plus there's four in them, and we only need three, so there'll be one left over. Okay, and Kitty, you can watch, trying to get up here. Okay. I got this for toppings, uh, along with the ham, I got this TJ Farms Pepper Stir Fry. It's got yellow, yellow onion, red, yellow, and green bell peppers. So it's high in vitamin C. And then I got their Pantry Essentials pizza sauce, traditional pizza sauce. And I don't know, I think we've tried this before and it was it was good if I remember. Uh, it's been quite a while, but I think, I think that's the same brand they've had. So I'm gonna pause it now and I'm gonna cut up this uh, ham. All right, everyone. It looks like I'm gonna have some stuff left and one pita uh, bread. Uh, what I'm gonna do, it says you can fold them. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, Joy help me, or I'll either fix one or she will. Uh, She'll be glad to in the morning. Uh, fix a, an omelet with what's left. You got some cheese. I don't know, if, there might not be any cheese. I might have to use some other kind of cheese if there's not. But there'll definitely be some of this ham left and then the, the pita, and they throw some of these in too, cook it all together, make an omelet, throw some eggs in there, uh, and then put it in there like a, you know, wrap like a, almost like a taco thing for breakfast. So that's, that's already, I'm already excited about that. So that's great. I'll get another meal out of it. Okay, let's get some sauce on here. Make sure I've got where you can see it, okay? The sauce smells good. It's got chunks of uh, tomato I can see in it. Yeah, those thin ones, they're okay. And there's enough sauce left, really, for another time, looks like. Uh, we tried the other ones. They're just too a little too thin for us. Okay. So 
one, so I'll spread out. Santa Claus light in here and I ho 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 in my paper towel holder. So I'm gonna put some cheese. There's quite a bit of cheese here. I'm hoping this is good cheese. I'll I'll know when I try it. Gosh, one's about enough, really. I believe one pack would it would do it. So actually, uh, instead of uh, six dollars, it's five. Now, if you were going to make the other another pizza, you know, make it four, uh, I would definitely, you know, you would definitely have to use some more cheese. I'll get it all on there. So yeah, one will work. So I have definitely have enough for uh, tomorrow. This is all clean. I cleaned all this with antiseptic wipes before I even started. Everything's good and clean. I think that's enough. You don't want to go crazy with it, especially if it's if it's it might not melt good or something. If it's a cheaper brand, so I think that's enough. Well, I already got this one open, so I'm gonna throw a little. But you could have done three of them uh, with one uh, bag easily. I'm just putting a little extra now, so so it would have only cost you five dollars unless you just want extra cheese. Or if you were gonna make four out of it. So I put a little extra on there since I had it open. I'll put the rest in a Ziploc bag. Okay. So there's that. I'm wondering if I should put the oops. Uh oh, did I mess up? Okay. Um I think I'll put the ham on next because that's the way I would do if it was uh, pepperoni. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some basically. in the morning now if you had four if you were making four it would probably take all this uh, ham or would you know you can use pepperoni or whatever you like um, they had some you know mushrooms probably in a can there but I didn't I didn't put decide to I decided not to put mushrooms on it but I could have spread this out a little bit So that's plenty of the ham. And I got this left over, which is probably too much for, 
omelet, so a few more on this. Okay, I'm gonna save that with this. Now I want to put some. These are kind of big pieces, but some onion. This is a nice little uh, bag of vegetables here. I'm to get the onions first so I can tell how much I'm getting all of instead of just grabbing hands full or something. I like, you know, kind of big pieces. The way they do it at Johnny Brusco's is like that. Mm. Pull it up in there. Let's get some kinds of peppers. Seems like there might be more onions in here than uh, peppers. To me. Yeah, there's a lot of onions in here. It's like more onion than pepper, but that to the right there. Right there, and I think it's probably enough. That's going to be it. Okay. Now, just since I got extra, now you wouldn't have to do this, but I like to do it. I like to put just a little bit on top. Not enough to really just cover it or anything, just to, you know. Sometimes I use Parmesan to do this part. Just a little sprinkling on top of it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna pause it now because I'm gonna put them in the oven. And when I get them out and we're eating, I'll, uh, I'll try this thing. So, see you in a bit, everyone. Okay, everybody, I'm just making sure this is running. Yeah, and it is. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, I can tell uh, one thing about it is it didn't melt good. It's kind of just, you know, browned, uh, but it didn't melt as good as, uh, you know, some cheese I would get, you know, at Kroger's or whatever. But let's see what it, we'll see what it's like here. The cheese that's underneath this, some of it, it, it seems more melted. Hmm. Well, really, I mean, when I looked at it cooking, I could tell the cheese wasn't it first melting properly but it is melted underneath here some so it's not as bad as I thought it might be it really isn't it isn't that bad y'all got a nice salad here I would prefer uh, probably some cheese from, you know, like Kroger or Walmart, some other mozzarella cheese. But, you know, if you're on a tight budget, you really could have done it with $5 here, uh, 6 it, and you would still have some left, 6 if you had 4 if you made 4 of them. But it's a good pizza. I just would like it to melt a little more, but but now I'm seeing underneath it is melted. I guess it's the cheese that was on top that just it, it started to not it didn't really burn, but it turned kind of brown. So it's a beautiful salad. I like these uh, green onions. So, I'm not for sure what it costs to make a salad. But the things that we had for it was enough to make several. My guess would be maybe less than a dollar. You know, I took for everything in this one. You know, because there's, there's salad mixed down in the bottom of it. That's, that's where I would guess. Less than, somewhere less than a dollar. So everybody, it's pretty good. I like the crust. The only thing is, the cheese could be a little better. Um, I normally would put some oregano on it, but I didn't want to use anything not from Dollar Tree. But that, I always like to put some oregano on it. I probably will next time if I make it. But next time, they do have another mozzarella there. But this one said Italian blend is why I got Well, they, actually, this is the only one they had at the time when I went there. When we went back the other day... They had some smaller packs of mozzarella that I, I imagine was probably better quality cheese because there wasn't as much in it. So, anyway, this turned out really good. Out of five, I would probably give it a four. And the only reason is because um, the cheese just didn't melt like I wanted it to, but underneath it is. Usually on top, it's all melted and it will start then it will start to brown, but this got kind of a little bit hard like crunchy kind of instead of just when it you know didn't melt all the way on top but that's it, it still tastes fine so uh, I, I would recommend it you know if you're on a budget to uh, to make a meal from from Dollar Tree and I'm sure excuse me I'm sure there's other meals there too 
So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this cook, cooking with Chef Mike. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and hit that which is like the dinner bell right now. So hit that so you can get all my videos as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day. God bless.